Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome to a brand new Humankind Let's Play on the channel as we are going to try out the Cultures of Africa pack, the new DLC for Humankind. And the purpose of this Let's Play is to play only the six cultures added in the Cultures of Africa pack. There is one for each era, so hopefully we'll be able to snatch all of them without the AI taking any while we stay on Humankind difficulty. So that's going to be the challenge. And to help us out a little bit, I'm going to keep this game small. We're going to play on a small map. It's going to be a Pangea map. That's one continent, 60% land mass. That's the only customization that I sort of did. Everything else is just on average or regular setting. Whatever the medium setting is, uh, it is set for the maps. Uh, we're going to do on normal pace, so still 300 turns, humankind difficulty, just because we've been playing on that. And uh, to make sure that the AI just don't, I mean, they're going to outpace us in the early game for scores, but hopefully they won't snatch up the new cultures so we can still get the cultures. Uh, the six cultures are not synergetic, uh, so picking up the six will be pretty difficult to do uh, in terms of trying to win the game. Three of them are agrarian. There's one expansionist, one military, one merchant. There are zero industry affinity culture among the six. There are zero science affinity cultures among the six. We're going to be running short of industry. We're going to be running short of science. We're going to be just lagging behind. Uh, it's going to be very difficult, which I guess you can think of it as a semi-reflection of the history of Africa in a sense. Uh, they are glory days of trade and even science technology invention, but nowadays is just lagging behind for, uh, you know, compared to the rest of the world. So perhaps it's a reflection of that. Unfortunately, the new update made a lot of the mods, or pretty much all the mods, obsolete. They need to be re-edited in the new map editor, so all the mods that I downloaded for Africa does not work, so we cannot play on Africa map. Thus, we're going to be playing on this sort of randomly generated Pangea map instead. And um, that's pretty much all the settings. So let's hop into game here and get things started. Alrighty, so as we load into the game here, we have some dye. That is amazing news. It seems like we're on the south... Yep, we're on the Southern Hemisphere. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, the dye is really good industry. There's five of them. We have this, okay, that's wonderful news. We're going to start out by trying to grab this food here. The more food we can get, the more you know hunting parties we can get started, the better it is going to be for us because the first culture we're going to play as is the Bantu. And they have a unique emblematic unit called the Bangadi Pioneer that will be able to utilize... Um, basically the same normatic trait that you have in the Neolithic, which means they can continue to hunt, ramsack, pick up food, curiosities, to grow. And you can use them as population to spawn new uh, sort of settlements and territories instead of using influence. As a matter of fact, you cannot use influence with them to claim new territory. You have to claim them using all four populations. It has to be a filled army. Uh, for you to claim, but then the four population goes into your city. So you don't actually waste any population, it's just a different way of claiming cities. Okay, it's going to be hard to actually get these in a nice location. The science is just flowing over here. Okay, we, we spot a river. That might be the capital right there. We're going to get the cheaper domestication right here. If we can find a horse resource, that'd be excellent. Yeah, this is going to be the capital right here. The mountains, so basically the mountain get locked down, the three pieces of river get locked down, we get the die. Uh, we have 15 uh, influence. We might turn around. Or actually, we, mm, depends. Depends on the river thing. Yeah, it's going to lock down our movement. But moving back will also be pretty constricting because of this forest region here. Might as well move forward, actually. Growth is not happening. We can get growth through this as well. That's something. Five again. Okay. We got five for both of them. Sure. We'll get on the river. Pop that food. Hopefully it's not five again and we can get another population. Ooh. Uh, flat two science. We don't eat that. This science will give us enough points for ten. I'm actually going to get the increased food. City defense, you know, it's nice, but if we can get the population growing here, that would benefit us. I want another unit. There we go, 15. The new unit will go here. Got our knowledge star. There's a horse resource. Okay. 
So for the legacy trait, we either will go with industry or science because we are going to miss both of them. There's no uh, industry and science affinity culture available to us with our new DLC only run. So I think we'll start with science because early game, you can't even build research quarters. Do we move on? Hmm. I think we actually can because we'll continue to be able to gather food. It should be fine. So we're going to move on right away. We're going to be playing as the Bantu. So let's introduce this um, new culture. If you wish to prosper, you must give as much as you take. So obviously Bantu historically being sort of the, you know, birth of civilization or cultures in Africa. It gives its language root to pretty much most of the African languages today. Um, there's a massive migration throughout Africa back in like 6,000 years ago uh, called the Bantu migration. And they will be represented as the expansionist culture because of that. And we can trespass all we want in game and we can use under one banner to peacefully annex territories of other empires with their outposts and administrative centers. So as long as it's not a capital of a city, not main plaza, we can take it over by putting a unit on top for anywhere from four to six turns, depending on if it's an outpost or administrative center and it'll become ours. And once we have a territory adjacent to uh, a enemy or, you know, different empire, we get two points of influence for each adjacent empire on territory. So if we have close neighbors, we get more influence throughout every single era because of the legacy trait. Our emblematic district is replaced by the outpost, uh, the Pia field. Uh, this is a regular outpost that will gain food for adjacent cities. And as I mentioned, the Bengadi pioneers, uh, Nomad pioneers, a new trait, pretty much a scout that can continue to hunt and collect food. And once we get four of them in an army, they can settle down and create um, an outpost, a Mapia field, basically. Now that I'm looking at this, I think we have to wait because I need to claim a second city first, right? We always want two claims in the Neolithic, especially given the fact that we have to sort of wait uh, and uh, use our, what do you call it, use our population rather than influence to claim we also have to build like a different unit like a you know a scout rider or someone who can actually claim using influence or else we're stuck until we get like four of these that's just going to slow us down way too much okay so we're going to see if we can collect a bit more We're trying to scout for like a good location to put down another city. Like certainly more die is a good thing. So we could probably explore this area. I, I doubt anyone's gonna fight with us for. Okay, we see two more pieces of the die. There's five total. So this way, ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Force resource as well. I think a city goes here. Yeah, I think the city ends up going here. All right. Once we get that settled, we'll advance to the next era. I don't see enough food lying around. Ooh, sanctuary. So we can hunt these mammoth once we become Bangadi uh, pioneers. We'll still end up getting influence in the ancient era for hunting, which is not common. Oh, please find another food. Ooh. A whale, amber guys. So basically, like digested material from a whale's guts. But this is a great one because five science, just like this is five industry. These are things we need. So we definitely want to kind of expand along the southern flank here. Give a bit more science and mainly a bit more influence. Hmm. Gonna need a couple more turns. Ooh, uh, I think we want another minus 25 on domestication. It's a fast horse pickup. It's going to be worth more than two science. Think about it. I think it's worth nine science from the 25%. Oh, 
Harappan's got grab. Yeah, I still really likes Harappan. All right, I'm going to pick this up. Good location. Um, pretty sure we want make this the capital. So this can wait a little bit in terms of when we want to expand. Please be 15 food. Please be 15 food. Or maybe 10 food. We can hunt the deer. Oh, not 5 food. We'll hunt the deer. That put us as 15. And if we can hunt the other deer, we can put ourselves at 20, I guess. And they need to find 5 food as well, hopefully. I mean, we're, we're delaying it for just minute, minute bonuses here. Please don't be a dead end. Uh, not great. I don't know if we can win this. Yeah, not sure. Okay, we're gonna go here. Elevation advantage. Don't don't come up. There we go. Stay down. I'm gonna go for the defensive bonus. Oh my god. <laughs> that was terrible, actually. That was terrible. We should have fought the first battle. Kept the casualty down. So we're not going to get the extra population. Not only are we not going to get it, like we're so far away from it. Um, I will actually clear this to get the extra population here. Or else we're just really going to miss out on a lot of stuff. Oh, it's such a shame. Okay, Omex. We got an extra event. Oh, okay. We, we, we made up for the lost population here. That is great news. So, we're actually going to go together. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to advance. I know we missed out 20 points. We could have gotten one more population. Could we have gotten it in two turns? In three... We wait two turns because we know we're fine no one's gonna race us to it uh, uh, uh. wait why why we didn't get we didn't get a population what are they talking about and why did it trigger there because we already had over 10 science it's weird all right we'll be following that mammoth Oh, give us... Okay, well, I mean, we got Growth Star, we got four populations, a lot of good stuff. We're going to be taking the Bantu now. Alright. Two of you go hunt the Mammoth. Two of you continue to expand this way. See, there's still going to be food for us. And we're going to get them to keep growing. Ah, the challenges. And then we'll get a new city. All right, so our next goal is to pick up two cities first before we do anything funny. Ah, oh, you big mammoth, where are you going? There are... Okay, there are two... There's two dies in both locations. This is the free city upgrade. We're gonna get more influence. And then for this one, we're gonna, you know, once we get the research for the artisan quarter from calendar, we'll build these first, but we're gonna get the free horse first. We're gonna pick up this using influence. I know we're trying to save influence, but you know, because we can hunt and stuff, we can probably gain the influence back. And plus we can build a scout rider if we get the horse resource, and then we can pick up the die as well. Just it's basically gonna help us out with the die. The die is gonna be key. To our production here. Okay, where are you going? We're gonna fight it so we don't have the mistake over there. Right, this is fine. He's probably here. Yep, so that means we can't even move there if we wanted to. Um, we're going to move to here. And we are going to attack it. We should get 20 food plus 20 
influence for killing this. I'm just gonna use the high ground. I'm not even gonna flank. That's perfect. 20 food, 20 influence. And the thing is, we need 40 food now for each Bangadi Pioneer increase. But the food resource that we step on will not drop 5 food anymore. It's either 10 or 20. So in essence, the rate of increase does go up, so it's not too bad. And they can heal when they're not on friendly territory either, because um, they're still nomads. They're, they're functioning exactly the same as the Neolithic. All right, we want to lock down this final die as well. So we're going to look to see where we can expand. Ooh, we want that bear. We want the food, we want the bear. We, so this is great. So die plus a horse plus some river. Probably going to claim something here. We're going to need a unit to do that. I have picked up enough science for domestication, and then we're going to go for calendar. And this is the edge. Okay, all right. So this is probably where we want the outpost in the future right here. Pick up the copper, pick up the amber guys for science. Okay, things look pretty good. Ooh. Because we don't have a horse, we can't build this. Hmm. This is a bit awkward. I mean, technically, a maker's quarter here would be fine. But I'd rather not do that. If I produce a unit first, I could. It's a waste. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a waste. We can explore this way. I kind of wanted this, but it's not happening first because. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Boom. Boom. Even better than Scout Rider first because we actually want the second city up, so we don't actually want to tempt ourselves with claiming territories just yet. Perfect. Bear, we'll keep an eye out for it. it went this way. Hmm. He has better terrain, but I think we'll be fine. The bear is probably foolish enough to run at us. For your this should be worth 10 food and 10 influence. Yep. And as you can see, our influence is going to grow pretty fast, and that should be a second city going up pretty soon. I don't want it that fast because I do want to get the two dies built in the same manner using influence rather than using, wait, coffee? Hmm, we have a lot of good options near us. Ah, uh, it's not science. I don't really want money. All right, let's get ourselves extra population. And I know there's a curiosity over here. We'll step on that. Oh, can we get up the cliff? I have to go here this way. That's a little bit annoying. All right, we will invest the influence on the main plaza growth and the new outpost claim. Actually, this can wait till after we build the second city because we're not building any outposts until that happens. So we're going to save that for this. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, I'm going to step on the river. I guess we will wind up this way. We'll get on the river first. That way we can move a little bit extra and be a little flexible next turn. Let's see. Let's see. Um, We have plenty of water. Irrigation might be a good move. We also have plenty of forest, so Lumberyard's not terrible either. Mm, we'll go with Irrigation. And we'll stick to main plaza. And very, very quickly here. We should have done this last turn, actually. This would have given us 10 more production here. Would have got 10 more production into that over the turn. Uh, not right now. We would like the plus one combat strength, but also we're going to save up for that first capital. Wait, this popped back up. Mm. We're probably not going to go back and get it. We're going to move. We're going to move on. Wait, that's a dead end. No. 
I will come back. Ooh, we can hunt the animal that spawns from there. So as you can see, we have a lot of ways to gain nice amount of influence, good way to gain population. And uh, once we get the expansion going, we have a good way of getting expansion stars as well. All right, hunt, there's nothing better than hunting elephants. So we got to get that done. First one to find Victoria Fall, which is also, you know, a part of this new DLC. That's actually beautiful. There are four new world uh, wonders, or cultural wonders as they're called in the game. And Victoria Falls is one of them. Hopefully we'll see a couple more. Agrarian Star, 12 population, super, super fast with only one city because we're growing units on the field. Please be 20 food. Nope, not 20 food. We're gonna step on the river because we're gonna hunt down that elephant for 20 influence. <gasps> You are coming with us. Uh, we'll step on this first. Uh, if it was 20, it would be better, but this is fine. Uh, we're not going to risk the mistake of losing units here. Ooh. He is very smart in stepping up there. But we're going to have him surrounded on... We're just going to bash him. I know we take damage this way, and we're not getting a full, you know, flank, but at least we're on the same elevation. He might move. Oh, we got him killed. That's perfect. So we just need one more mammoth from over here, and one more turn, and we should be able to get our second city up. Alright, if we can find it. The thing moves quite a bit. Nope, we're not going to find it. We're going to split up. Oh, there's a bear. So we're going to split this into two and two again. We could obviously use this to claim a territory now, which is an interesting option we have, but I, I think we still want to hunt first. This... We, we can instant, I think. Man, it's a shame we can't get the extra point this turn. Keepers of the Creed. Okay, so do we want man or woman leading faith, or do we want all? Do we want to be a little bit more progressive? Do we want to be more traditional here? Um, let me first take a look at what the actual... Ah, I, I think we, we need the science bonus, given how little science we have. So, you know, anyone can lead our... Faith. Second city. Here we go. It's gonna be three, four, yeah, two, three, four for the expansion of star. Hmm. What do we want first here? Let's see. Let's see. I probably want a unit to start claiming things. Now, do I want to build it here or do I want to build it here? I guess they need to start giving us 10 more points of industry. So I will actually build the unit first. And we're going to do the Scout Rider. Building another, you know, Bangadee Pioneer doesn't help us. We want to start using influence to claim things. So we're going to pull half of them. And basically move down this way. We're not going to take care of the sanctuary, we're going to keep it for hunting reasons. Incense is also pretty decent. There's a lot of good luxuries near us, which is great. Irrigation picked up. I'm um, going to go back to carpentry, city defense, into bronze work. Yeah, he just kind of bypassed that food. That's fine. Mm. Don't really need the money. I 
Have we met any independent camps? Usually this one pops up when we see an independent camp. Oh, there's one right there. It's a peaceful one. So we're not going to really deal with peaceful camp. It's a if it's aggressive one, we might pay for some, you know, pay for some money to make sure that we start absorbing them. A warrior. OK, this changes some stuff because I don't need him to claim it now. The warrior can claim land for us as well. I think I want the amber guys first. So we want to claim this and attach it to this city here. Musumba. I think I mentioned this is probably where we're looking to put the city. I don't think that assessment has changed. Potentially this would also work. Basically we're saving two rivers and one mountain and then we have the expansion path towards potentially like um, Maker's Quarter here using the mountain ranges. Yeah, let me go here. Ooh, can we fight? No, this is on a cliff. We can assort them out a little bit. He's fighting us. Um, Over this way. Give us that 10 influence and 10 food. Perfect. Did that disappear? There was a there was a food there. All right, what we're gonna do with this group is I'm gonna split off two of them, and have them go north. Follow me. The base one's gonna hold on to the food. Off we go. And I'm gonna have them join this, and it'll be a group of four from the food increases. And then I'm gonna split two more of them off. continue to seek out our territory expansion and when he spawns I'm not gonna kill the bear if I don't have to because I prefer to have these units kill the bear uh, I'll move up first actually because he can take care of both of these all right he can take this pick up a bit of science Oh, a second warrior. All right, why don't you guys join together right here? You can come down here for the food. You can go up this way. Is oh, that's a cliff. All right, the bear left us alone, which is good. Now, if we want to expand from here. City and neighbor. We have a neighbor here. We can use our, uh, you know, our under one banner to absorb them, but the thing is, it's risky. We could lead to a war. We we can't afford to fight a war until we hit probably the classic air. Javelin riders for the Grem Knights are very strong, but right now we're quite weak. I might put a city here. Basically take care of all the river tiles in this area. And then we don't have to worry about river tiles. We can just build out one way to approach it. Basically we end up choosing copper over horse because the horse make us, you know, directly next to them. And not sure if we want that. Like we have horse already. And there's a backup horse right here. We don't need three horses until like night. That's that's really, really late. Um, what do we want here? We need to start thinking about the food situation. There are four river tiles being exploited right next to the capital. So I think we want to start with flood irrigation and then into something like, you know, animal barns. We, we need all three of these. Yeah, we'll start with this. Oh, do we want? Mm, it's small. It's only four. I mean, 
Four is not bad. It's, it's, it's actually pretty good at this point. So I think we pick that up and then this neat food situation taken care of right after that. You know, we actually have high industry because of the four dies we have. We want to lock down that fifth die. We want to claim that. We might want to claim that before we even claim this. Yeah, we're going to claim this. Food. Oh, aggressive independent camp. That's not good. I don't want to step on that. It's fine. It's it's going to go to waste. We only got the money. They can go hunt the bear to make up for that. Go back into the fog. We can go up with him. I'm going to go back them up. Even with all four units, I don't think we can beat them. I think it's time to actually convert these four into a territory. Like There's a certain point where continue to expand is just not going to make a lot more like a lot of sense. Off we go. Okay. Wait, hold on. Just go go. Ah. Ah, it's fine. Well, he made he made it to where we want him to go. Yeah, I want this. There's food right there. There's a bunch of good stuff around. Over this way. We have the next one selected. Okay, they're going to come here. I'm going to spend another... I should have done this first. I forgot about it. No. We could have saved. At least we realized here. There we go. And then let's see where we want this one. Maybe. Maybe just here, actually. Like, I know there's rivers here, but I don't see an actually really good place to claim this. Like, this should be a wonder. Because this can have science, and this has money. So we're going to use this group to claim that. So in essence, I think this one, this one, this one, these three will at least be one city. There's question marks on whether this should be part of this. I, I think it should. I think this city needs to expand up, which means you need to actually come to like this way. That's peaceful. The warriors need to be headed to quote unquote more frontline locations. All right, we're going to move up. We're gonna bring the warrior with us up as well. This city is gonna be huge because we're gonna absorb this population here as well. Ooh, I wanna step on that. Wait, is that a bear hunt? Oh, I wanted them to fight the bear. I mean, we'll, we'll delegate this. We ended up not picking up the resources. That's a bit unfortunate. This cliff makes things a very, very difficult. Oh, actually, come back here. Ramsack that. Do we claim this now? Or do we...
We take this. I'm gonna claim it now. It's fine. Kills the food. Uh, this one's gonna stay. We're gonna let him get to there soon. Oh. Hold on. That worked out. This one's finished. I'm gonna use the influence to pick up Amber Guys for science. That's gonna be key. Five points of science is massive. And also the district from all these uh, artisan quarters are picking things up. Things change. Even your proposal makes good sense. I don't have farmers yes. quarter, don't have research quarter, so not gonna benefit too much for us right now. Hmm. We want to claim this area. I'm thinking here. Gotta stop the bears. No food, just money. That's fine. The Papyrus is going to give us science on all the main plazas and administrative centers. The coffee per farmer, which we do have farmer. Five production, five food for if we have animal barn. Why you got to sit on... Is he building a city here? We're gonna ransack that. Before he finishes. Let me get on the river first. He moves out, I move on. Not yet, we don't need that. Could consider this right now. We technically don't have emblematic districts. Like, we're not gonna get any points for our outposts, uh, my Mapia fields. Like, they're giving us, they're giving us only ten food, right? We're not getting actual. Yeah, I don't see any influence given. Ooh, maybe we are. Hard to tell, actually. We're getting extra food from the Mpia field. There's 30 adjacent ones, so population growth should be fast. We gotta sustain it with the right infrastructure. We're gonna need both of those pretty quickly. Alright, got ourselves bronze work. We could probably be the first one to writing. Amber Guides is actually giving us a decent amount of science production, and plus per population science is what we picked. Industries basically being made up by our five die. That's probably ah, oh, they got the city up. Uh, this is super annoying. Um, the good news is they build it exactly where we kind of wanted it. So, but the thing, if I absorbed it, it's going to be a city. It's not going to be. We have to go to war with them. We have to go to war with them. Ah, oh, that is just. That is just great. <laughs> so, adjustments here, adjustments here. We probably want to lock down this horse now, given that situation. So maybe we put a put a settlement down here. We probably want to pump out like spearmen, maybe, given that they have a chariot unit. Very, very strong. I, I don't know how we can beat this right now. The good news is at least they're peaceful factions. Come over here. I'm gonna send the warrior this way because of the situation here. Ah, uh, it's rough. Come over here. Over this way. We probably want these to combine and then end up claiming a territory as well. Wow, they're huge. Uh, 
Like incense is good. Horse is good. Victoria Fall is good. Like this is a good piece of land. Yeah, so I think we're going to end up getting these together. I haven't joined any yet. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to join first. This one has... One of them has four population. Which one is it? Is this one? Yeah, this one has four population. So I want to join this one first. Because I'll get the four population. Right. Awesome. So I think we're going to end our episode here. That's a pretty decent start. This was a tad unfortunate. That's probably the only thing that's not perfect about this start. Um, it seems like we're going to be holding like a third of the Pangea here. And then they have this third. There's one more faction, the yellow. I wonder if they're north of us or past them. From my people. And from myself, this proposition should be in all our best interests. Well, by the Amber guys. Ah, they're past. The okay, so so this is perfect. We only have one enemy facing yes. us. The pink faction's in between us. That's that's awesome. I am listening. Yeah, both of these are not going to help us at this point. All right, but well that's great news. So we also got five more science from the Amber Guys. We also have both Amber Guy resources now, right? We tr we're getting one from trade. We're getting one from this. So if we want to do something with the Wonders effect, we probably would want to do it on something with like five copies. So if we end up claiming... Ah, never mind. Hang Garden's gone. So I guess we're going for Pyramid of Giza. If we can build that, we're probably going to build it here, as we mentioned. That's going to be our goal next time. We're going to look to expand, pick up Victoria Fall. No one should be in competition with us. There is one aggressive tribe, but you can see they're young, which means they don't have a city yet. They're trying to build one. So if I can claim this one fast enough, it should be fine. And we'll just bribe them off and absorb them as a potential you know, fourth city down the line. Not getting this city up, it's a bit sad. We probably have to conquer a cod here and then just build it on top of their ruins afterward. Not the most ideal situation, especially like if you want to go to war and pick up stuff, we're going to need like potentially battering ram if they have walls or just, you know, better range unit. We're kind of limited in what unit we have this early on. We need to reinforce as well. There's a lot of like prerequisite things we need before we can do it, but I'm fairly confident we'll get a good amount of stars. Um, they, oh wow, look at that first place, 2,800 points. We're going to get three stars here. We're going to get three stars here. We're going to get at least two stars on the building. We're going to get at least one star on the seek. At least... We're going to get all three star on science, I'm pretty sure. Um, military depends on how early we can fight the Akkad faction near us. But that's how we're looking at things right now. So we'll come back and continue from here next time. Until then, bye!